where should a woman pray tarawih? I think we've answered partly onto this question. At home or in the masjid, if she prays at home, can she lead the congregation or a congregation of women? It's mentioned in Sayyid Tarqib, hadith number 336, where the beloved Prophet said that the best mosque for a woman is her innermost room, her innermost chamber. And the best place for a woman to pray is her inner room. That's the best. And in another hadith of Muslim Ahmad, volume number six, hadith number 27202, which also mentioned in Sayyid Targib, hadith number 335, once a lady asked the Prophet, I would love to pray with you, the lady said. And the Prophet replied, I know you'd love to pray with me, but your prayer in your inner room would be better than praying in your house. The prayer in your house would be better than praying in the courtyard. Your praying in your courtyard would be better than praying in the mosque where you live, where around your people. Your praying in the mosque where you live, around your people, is better than praying in my mosque. That means for a woman, the best prayer is the inner room. Mashallah. And the way Sadiq that praying in your room is better than the house, house better than the courtyard, courtyard better than the mosque in your area, the mosque in your better than the mosque of the Prophet. So the Prophet said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number two, hadith number three to one zero, that praying in my mosque is equivalent to a thousand prayers. That means if you pray in the mosque of Muslim, it's equal to praying a thousand times in any other mosque. But this hadith, is mainly referring to the men, because no two say hadith in quantity. So this hadith mainly refers to the men. For the woman, the best place is the house, especially her inner room. And there's a hadith in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number one, book of Salah, hadith number 591. Umme Warka, may Allah be pleased with her. Amen. She comes to the Prophet and says that, I would like to have a more than in my house. And the Prophet gave her permission. The next hadith, Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number one, Bukha Salah, hadith number 592, it says that Muhammad he went to a house after appointing the mountain and he asked her to lead the prayer in congregation and the women in the house, they joined her and the narrator says that he saw the mountain, he was the old person. It's further mentioned in a Sahih hadith of Bihaqi. Hadith number 1922, Hadith Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, who is the wife of the Prophet, she says that she led the congregation of the woman. She was the Imam, but she stood in the middle of the row. And another Hadith in Musannaf ibn Abi Shaiba, Hadith number 4953, say Umm Salma, who was also the wife of the Prophet, may Allah be pleased with her, Amen. even she says that she led, she was the Imam of a congregation of women. And she was standing in the center of the first row. So here it indicates that the women, they can pray, but it is better for them to pray in the inner room, better than going in the mosque. But they are permitted to go in the mosque as we discussed yeah. earlier yesterday, mm -hmm. that praying in the mosque is permitted, but for them the inner room is better than the house, the house is better than the courtyard, courtyard better than the mm -hmm. mosque close to them in the mosque of the Prophet. But they can pray, they can go to the mosque. If they pray at home, they can have a congregation. There's no problem at all. And a woman can lead the congregation according to the way of hadith I mentioned. With women? Yes. Yeah.